beauties welcome back how are you today I'm going to share a little bit of a little story with you guys and then I'm obviously gonna share what the story is about the item before I get into it I have my Freddy shirt on today I just got this from Torrid I never had a nightmare on Elm Street shirt in my collection before so I was happy to add this one to it this choker is from Torrid Neff brand beanie of course that's all I wear is my favorite beanie brand and then my earrings are also from Torrid and they are a little bats it's freaking bats so all right you guys today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my first Vans purchase. I've never owned Vans before so I finally jumped on the bandwagon with this one but with good reason because they did a collaboration with the horror movies and I got me a pair. So I'm gonna show you first the box that it comes with. Now these dropped October 1st. Let me get into the backstory. But this is what the box looks like. Super cool and it's got the blood drips on the side the detailing of this is really really cool so that's what the box looks like and if you saw the the little sneak peek i told you to check out on my tiktok you would have seen them but if you haven't seen it go follow me on tiktok give the video a heart it really helps me out so long story short because it's gonna be a short video like i mentioned before you guys but i'm super excited because it's like if you're a horror junkie like i am Yes, you probably know about this launch. They did a collaboration with It, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, The Shining, and I think there was another one, but some of them didn't have the same products in each collection. Like some of them was just sweatshirts, there was hoodies, t-shirts, shoes. I fell in love with the Nightmare on Elm Street. I just thought it was the coolest one out of the entire collection that they dropped out of all the movies. So those were the ones that I got, but into the story. When I saw them, I was just like, oh my gosh, really, really cool, super different. Let me treat myself to a pair. So I went online and checked everything out. I went to go purchase the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, their high top, and they ran for $80 with free shipping. When I purchased it, my order said that it went through. The next morning, I got an email saying that it was canceled because my size was sold out. So apparently all the sizes sold out in the Nightmare on Elm Street one and apparently it was one of the hardest ones to get because on launch day a lot of the areas or like the stores that had them sold out and they were sold out online as well. I went to my local mall maybe like about a week or two ago. I was just walking through, not thinking anything of it. I walked into a Journeys and they only had the Friday the 13th one. So then I kept walking through the mall and I stopped to like eat something. I noticed that they had another Journeys and I completely forgot that they had an actual van store in that mall. Cause I only usually go just for Sephora or for Bath and Body Works and I usually don't go anywhere else in the mall. So I haven't even walked through the entire mall and it's pretty easy to forget other stores if you haven't even seen them yet. But anyways, I'm getting there you guys so I can show you. I walked into the second Journeys and they had the shoe on display and I asked the girl who was really really nice and sweet by the way if they had any more in the back and the guy was just like no we're sold out that's the last one. When I checked them out and I looked at the size it only happened to be like half a size bigger than what I usually wear. And I was just like, can I just try these on? And they was like, yeah, sure. So she bought the other shoe out for me. I tried them on. They fit like a freaking glove because I have flat wide feet. So I need the space anyways in any shoe that I get. So I tried them on and I tried the other one on and I was just like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? And I was just like, can I purchase these? And they were like, absolutely. So I just purchased them and I was just like, thank you very much. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got these shoes. After trying to find them everywhere. <laughs> So these are the limited edition Nightmare on Elm Street Vans shoe. You guys, do you not see this? Yes, I have a big foot, but I do have space here because I'm probably maybe about like that much smaller, but I need the space anyways. You guys, the details on it, like some of the shoes had the, like the horror icons faces on it, like the night, um, like Friday the 13th but I didn't mind this one because of the blood spatter detail on it 
and the grunginess of it because you know that I love me some grungy olive tones and obviously it's in you know the style of his sweatshirt and the laces you guys <laughs> and so I felt this is so freaking cool I probably would have never purchased Vans if it weren't for these but I have to say like even the high tops, I'm not a fan of high tops. These are super comfortable and breathable. Um, even though it's like, it's leather inside, but it doesn't, it's not hot, you guys, at all. Like if you've never worn Vans before, like I'm reviewing this as my first time as a consumer for Vans. If you've never worn them before, these are pretty cool, pretty comfortable, and they're super breathable. And if you have wide feet like I do, you're gonna need the space. And even the space is like, it's really, really cool. I just really love the detailing on this. I think that they are really well made. And the fact that you see here, it looks like his sweatshirt, like it's teared and broken. When you first look at them, you would think that it's teared and broken too, but no, it is just a smooth surface and it's an illusion. And it's just really, really dope. I really, really like these. Only reason why I purchased them. But yeah, super breathable, you guys, super light. Again, if you've never worn Vans before, this is my review on it. And I really, really like them. I had them on for a couple of hours last night. I walked around in them. I danced in them. The shoelaces are pretty cool. The, the splatter detail of them everywhere. I love them. I love them, you guys. Super, super love them. I don't know if I will buy any other Vans. Who knows? But for now, I'm really, really content with these. The only thing is, I will say, I wouldn't wear these like year round. It just depends what I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing like green and red, obviously I'll wear it. I could probably get away with these during the holiday season too. If you kind of just bypass the splatter, you know, detail. But yeah, you guys, my first Vans purchase and I wanted to share it with you guys. So that's about it, you guys. The box, I might keep the box. And keep the shoes there um, in the box so they can last me longer. I'm one with shoes that they last me pretty long because I take care of my stuff. I'm just going to put them back in the box for now, you guys. Just wanted to share my Nightmare on Elm Street first Vans purchase with you guys. This is what it looks like. And you can see me do an unboxing of these on my TikTok. So check it out there. But that's it, you guys. A pretty, you know straightforward video i just wanted to share my first fans purchase with you guys and nightmare on elm street do you not see this detail insanity insane i freaking love it <laughs> so i hope you guys are staying safe out there please be kind to one another and please be kind to yourself and i will see you in a couple of days leave me comments down below on what you think and if you haven't seen the rest of the collection go on the site at least you can see them even if you're not interested in purchasing anything but if you are, you can get a nice gift for someone um, if they're into horror stuff. So, yeah. Love you guys. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.